this tree is only 10 years. You can make pillars, you can make house easily from this tree. This is five years bamboo clump. If you have a few of bamboo clump like this, you have everything in there that we need to use in our daily life. We can make house from this. We can make fen. We can make tools. We can make many things from it. This is a magnolia champaka trees that our friend plant them in between the rubber plantation, between the rubber trees. It's only 11 years old, but the soil in the southern of Thailand is so good. So the tree grows so big and tall and straight like this. So each tree costs a lot of money. So from estimation, our friend, uh, we think about the price of it. They found that the tree that we grow between rubber plantation can make more money than the income from rubber plantation for in 10 years. Because this tree, we don't need to take care of it. We plant them and leave them like that. But the rubber, we need to work a lot on it. And then each tree, it costs a lot of money because the, the wood, the price of wood always going up, never going down. So to have tree is a good gift. Our friend in southern of Thailand, he has a big rubber plantation. So he start to grow many big trees between the rubber trees. And he grow many kind of long live vegetable that between the trees too. And even have root, have red tan, they have many, many things, including coffee and cacao in the whole plantation. So he feel more secure in this way. Because if he feel lazy to work on the rubber, he don't need to do it. He can make income from many things else. And even the rubber price going down, he doesn't care much because he more have more income from vegetable, from roots, from trees, from many things here. This is the real security of farming. Forest is the big part of self-reliance or self-sufficiency because we cannot be self-reliant if we have no forest. Because forest is the main thing that gives us everything in our life. The meaning of forest, it doesn't mean there's only one kind of plant growing. Not only teak, not only pine tree, not only eucalyptus trees. But the meaning of forest is diversity. Forest is mean communities of plants. The plants, they love to be together with many different kinds of plants. That's their own communities. So if we plant one variety of plant in a big area, they don't like it much. And then they cause more problem, more disease, more erosion, more problem. But whenever we have many diversity, a plant grow together. They're healthy, they're stronger, and then they last long. So the idea of the forest means we need to have uh, the forest that serve us three things. The first is food. The forest is a place where we can get food. So when we think about to grow the forest, we need to think about anything edible. Two, the first thing. Many plants is edible. In the forest, we can have many things that we can eat them. Fruit trees, roots, vegetable, and many things. The first thing is edible, forest. The second thing is use daily used forest. Like to make a house, wood to make a house, to make tools, to make fence to make everything in our daily life. And the third thing is for firewood, for fuel. 
So when we think about forest, we need to think about these three things first. Three kinds of forest, but four kinds of benefit. Three kinds of forest, forest for food, forest for house, for use, and then forest for fuel or for firewood. If we think about these three forests together, that helps us to be self-reliant easily. And then if we have three, this, three kinds of this forest, we will have four benefits. We have food to eat, we have house to stay, we have tools, and then we have firewood for cooking, for anything, for energy in our life. And then the fourth thing is the forest will give us good shade. Take care of our soil, make the soil better, and then take care of our water. Make the water stay in our land, our soil, last longer. So forest is very important thing, very useful thing. But it's so sad that forest give us a lot more than anything in our life. But most of farmers cut down the forest and burn them down. And then they can grow corn, they can grow cassava, they can grow rice, they can grow something else that costs very little. So tiny money that they get from corn, from cassava, from things. Most of them in debt because of the grow cash crop. So the whole world, people were taught to grow cash crop. That's why the forest disappear very quick. When the forest decreased, people's life start to be harder and harder because we cannot rely on ourselves anymore. In the past, we have forests everywhere. So people don't worry much because whatever they want, they just walk to the forest. The forest is like a supermarket. They can give you everything. If you want food, walk to the forest, you get food. Have vegetable, have fruit, you have bamboo shoot, have mushroom. So many things we can get from the forest. And then when you want a house, you walk to the forest, you can cut a few trees, you can have enough wood to make a house easily. And you have some tools, some handle of the hole, something. You can go to the forest and you get things. You can get wood to make fence, you can make everything. And when you get sick, you want some medicine, just walk to the forest. There's a lot of herbal plant there that help us to treat our sickness easily. And when we have forest, it makes the air cool, nicer to be. We don't want to be in the middle of nowhere, no tree, nothing. It's so hot. It's not very fun to live like that. So to have the forest is so useful. And the forest will keep water underground for us last longer. Even dry season, we can get water underground easily. We dig a well a little bit, you can get water easily. So we need we get everything we need in daily life easily. That's the meaning of self-reliant. Self-reliant, we need to have our own forest. That's very important. So sad that not many people think about keep the forest for self-reliant. They cut all the forest down to grow corn, to sell corn, a few cents per kilo. It's nothing there. How can people think like that? It's so sad. So now, we have bad soil everywhere. Erosion is a big problem all over the world because we have no forest. And people are turned poor because they have no tree to build a house. They have no food to eat. They need to rely on supermarket that they need to use money to buy it. And the food from supermarket is not real food. It's fake food. It's garbage with chemical, with hormone, with many things that the body doesn't need it. So, come back to grow the forest is the beginning of self-reliance, the beginning of sustainable way of living. We need to have forest to be sustainable. To grow forest is not very hard. To grow forest, we need, the first thing we need to study about the plant in our area first. 
what kind of plant that we used to have in our area. What kind of plant is edible? What kind of plant is hard wood, soft wood, and then flexible wood? We can collect them as much as we can. Don't buy us with the benefit of the plant. Whatever you see, bring them in because every plant is very useful and then they rely on themselves a lot. They rely on each other a lot. So don't try to grow only the most expensive trees. We need to grow as much variety as we can. So collect the seed in local area and then start the seedling. Put dirt in the back and put the seed in there and water them. When they tall up to one foot, we can transplant them in the beginning of rainy season, especially in tropical country. It's very easy to grow forests. We need to grow in the beginning of rainy season because we don't need to water them. And then we plant them, mix together, everything be together. So don't forget to mix the tall tree, the medium tree, the lower tree, and the bushy trees, and then underground plants. So the tall tree mainly even be hardwood to use for building, use for make tools. And then the lower trees, medium tree can be fruit trees or soft wood that we can grow for firewood to make a, uh, energy, to produce energy for our daily need. And lower one, bushy one, mainly will be vegetable. Many kind of plant that you grow one time, they were not very tall, but they can become our food for many, many years. Even you grow only one time. Like a coffee, you grow one time, it lasts for many years. Cacao, you grow one time, it lasts for 90 years. You can harvest them. And many vegetable trees that you grow in the forest too. You grow one time, it lasts forever. That's the bushy one. And the lowest one is roots like yam, taro, wild yam, wild potato. They grow underground. All kind of turmeric, ginger, thing, galanga, you can grow under the forest everywhere. If we create a forest like this, we will never starve to death. We always have food to eat. We always have what we need in our daily life. So forest is the easiest way to think about when we think about self-reliance. If we have no forest, we cannot rely on ourselves. To grow forest is so easy. Just plant them, beginning of rainy season, and then cut the grass in rainy season one time a month in tropical country. Don't let the grass cover the tree that we plant them. Only three years. We take care of them only three years. After that, they can take care of themselves. We need to think about how to prevent the grass to not cover our plant, our trees in the first three years. After three years, the taller, the grass cannot reach, cannot cover our tree anymore. And then they will take care of themselves. After that, the forest will take care of us. We take care of the forest only three years. After three years, forests will take care of us all our life. Even when we die, we still have five wood to burn our body if we want to do cremation. But if we don't think about that, we can bury our body underground to be a good food for the forest. Forest is ourself. Forest is very important for us. It's one part of our life. So. If you have land, don't hesitate to grow forest. Keep some part of the land for the forest. You will get more benefit. But if you grow the whole land that you have with one variety of plants or crops, you will be in debt. I experiment in many areas. 10 acres of land. If you grow rice in 10 acres, 10 years, if you calculate the whole income and the whole expense, you have no profit. 
because the cash crop price is up and down, up and down all the time. If you get very good yield, the price going down. If you get very bad yield, the price going up, but you don't have thing to sell. That's what happened. So cash crop never make income. But if we take some part of it into the forest, only three years, you take care of them. And after that, even it's one or two acres, it can make income more than 10 acres of rice. A few acres of forest make more income than 10 acres of rice or corn. This is what we learn, what we experiment. So forest is the beginning of self-reliance. When we think about have a freedom in our life, have independent life, we need to have our own forest. When we have forest, Forest will take care of our soil, will make the soil better and better. You don't need to work on the soil because the forest works for us. And then the forest will keep the water for us because the forest is the best natural dam that we don't need to invest money to do it. Because every tree, they hold a lot of water. And then every tree, they have a lot of leaves to cover and they drop the leaf on the ground. And then it makes the water evaporate slower. The water stay in our soil longer than the area that has no forest, no trees. So forest is very useful. We need to grow forest. If we have land, save some part of it for the forest. And to grow forest, think about diversity, not grow less variety. We need to grow as much as we can. And then don't forget bamboo if you live in tropical. Bamboo is very useful. Plant bamboo outside of the forest, the edge of the forest. It's easy to harvest them. Bamboo is so useful. They propagate very fast. Bamboo can be house, can be food, can be tools, can make basket, can make anything in our life. So there's so many easy things like this. We need to hurry to do it. Hurry to grow forest. Stop growing cash crop. Too much work. And it's not fun to be in debt. Grow the forest. Have more income. More things that we need. And have good shade to take a nap in the daytime. It's good.